Hello, and welcome back to Timberborn. Last episode, we finished filling out all the dynamite in our little reservoir here, at least the part we had set up for it. Um, and we have two more explosives in reserve, so that when we take these two guys down, we can put them in that spot, rebuild these guys right where they are, and be, you know, ready to just pump that stuff out at depth two. Um, obviously, we're still going to need to get more stuff further along, but this is a good start. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, and of course, we also got our, uh, our our windmills up and going so that even during the droughts, this stuff will still have power. Not our shredder, not yet at least, but the rest of this stuff will continue producing goods so long as there's wind. Uh, let's let things roll a little bit. I would like to get a little bit more water in. Just a little bit. I mean, we're barely keeping up. How how am I on the day? It doesn't actually show me what part of the day I cur Oh, is this what this is? Okay, and that's night. Okay, we're going to wait till morning, I think. Yeah, we're going to wait till morning. Then we're... Actually, you're empty right now. Are you empty? You're both empty. We're going to do this right now. And we're going to go... Oh, where is it? It's under landscaping, right? Yeah. Dynamite. Right there. And right there. Alright, we're going to keep a close eye on this. They are drinking up a storm. If we can do this quickly enough, we might be... It good. Oh, man, look at how little water there is. Alright, alright. We're, we're okay. Every, everybody's had a drink. We're, we're hopefully going to get this all up and going again in time. All right, yeah, get these guys built. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, beavers are out of the water. Let's, uh... Oh, autosave. That's what was causing that. Detonate. Okay, boom. Just like that, done. Awesome. That went a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Probably because I'm on top speed. All right, so that means we should be able to get our water pumps back in place. Like that and that. Those are 12 logs each. That's fine. We have plenty of logs. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Now we have a whole extra layer of water in this spot, and this will go ahead and suck it up because these are too deep, and they will handle too deep. Excellent, here we go, we got water coming in again. Oh, not a lot, oh no, the beavers might be getting a little thirsty. It took us the entire day to do that, and only got one of them operational again. That's, that's bothersome. But, the rest of them shouldn't be nearly as bad. <coughs> at the very least. So I'm thinking... Oh yeah, look at all these thirsty beavers. Come on, thirsty beavers. Yeah, alright, good. You're slowly getting not thirsty as water comes in. That's good. Could you guys get this built a little faster, please, so that there's more water coming in faster? Alright. Now there's more water coming in. Just kind of keeping an eye on the beavers, seeing how thirsty they get. Alright. Alright. Watching the beavers slowly get rid of that thirst debuff. There we go. One more. Okay, good. Oh, no. There we go. Maybe? No? Oh, there's two of them, three of them that are still thirsty, it looks like. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Oh, there's no water. Oh, come on, guys. Alright, I'm thinking I need another another one of these guys. Alright, so, rotate you. I think, yeah, if you go... Mm, mm, you don't like that. Right there? Yeah, I guess right there will work. We'll put you there. 
and then we will just have a little path go like that. All right, that'll help bring it in a little bit quicker. Uh, we are going to want some... Do I want to build a large tank? I kind of do. It's, three, it's ten times the size. Yeah, let's unlock it. Okay, ah, uh, you go... Hmm, interesting. That is... Interesting... We're gonna put you... You know what, we'll put you right there. And then... The little path to get there. Yeah? That's about as close as I'm gonna be able to get it to that. What did you take? Oh, you took some... You're taking some gears. So you're not going to be quite ready yet for a bit. But it's not too bad. Alright, we're starting to get a little better. Why are these beavers not going and getting water? There is water available. Go drink. Go drink, beavers. Stop being thirsty, beavers. Stop being so thirsty. Get some water. Alright, is everybody back up? It looks like it. Oh, nope. Maybe. Oh, no, there's still one there. Could you, uh... Okay, good. Alright, yeah, our, our, we're back up to five. Oh, and down to four again. Alright, so I think what they're doing is they're, they're drinking enough to survive, but they're not drinking their fill yet, because the water hasn't been available. Alright, that's probably what's going on here. Um, we are slowly getting that. We just need a few more gears to get that guy up and operational. Okay. Um, we have 13 dynamite. So, I'm going to pause here a second and give this a little bit of thought. Now, I could continue to deepen our reservoir. It would be a good use of things. Um, you know, it would be a good use of the explosives. Or, or... I could carve our first canal, which I kind of want to do so that I can get some stuff set up to make a new district over here. That's also kind of why I put this over here, is because I want to make a new district over here. At the same time, though, I also want to just level this entire thing out so that we have some nice flat surface. You're full, so I should do this. All right, you know what? Let's start. Let's let's get it started. You're mm, okay. Let's Let's do that. We're going to start by leveling out this area, and then we'll get a canal in, I think. Because I think that this extra depth should give us the extra water we need to make it through another drought. At least that's what I'm betting on at the moment. So we'll do this, we'll get a canal, and then we'll go back to deepening. That is the plan, and since we're basically not making... Yeah, see, it was backstuffed, so we weren't making more explosives. So we're going to have to kind of do this, <clears throat> you know, piecemeal. We can't... We don't have the stuff to make a bigger stock. You know what? You, go ahead and get built. How are you doing? You're slowly getting there. There's water being had. The water is slowly getting back to normal, it looks like. That's good. Good, good. Hmm, the question becomes, what happens with this? Oh, you know what I can do? We can get rid of you. And I can, since they can reach it from the shore, I can, in fact, say... Oop, 
I went on the wrong thing. Give me some dynamite there. And can I... Yeah, I can be like... Give that one high priority, please. There we go. And we can just be like, boom. There we go. A little bit more. In fact, I can do that here and here, too. Just be like, prioritize these two if you would. That way we can just have a nice clean edge. Boom. Just like that. A little bit more water. Excellent. These are slowly getting built. That's fine. We're good on that. Yeah, I think... I think we're getting... Getting the whole... Uh, dynamite thing resolved. Alright, we still need three more gears. Oh, we have another drought incoming, but... Because of our windmills... We will continue to produce goods, and we'll see how long this one is and how this fares. Um, we are not up to the level of water I would have liked us to be to, but we're definitely doing all right. Now, hopefully, this will be another, like, what was it, six or seven days and not have increased again, because I don't have the additional stores yet. I do have an bit of additional here from that the extra depth we made. I'm not comfortable with it being longer yet, though. I want to see if the, I can just get through the existing length, through the prior length, without having to fiddle with things like I did the last time. Because I had to like shut one of the pumps off and stuff in order to make sure there was enough water to keep things green. Since I don't have a whole lot of... Okay, we need one more gear. I don't have a whole lot of water backlogged yet. Yeah, I can definitely start reshaping the ground and such. This will end up working out for me, I think. What I would like to do is move this guy back one and move the road to there, minus a couple little extensions to go into those buildings. Because I think that'll be a little bit easier for me to get the gates up. I think. Well, we're going to see how the drought goes. I mean, at the very least, I want to see how long it's going to be. Maybe I will pause the recording during the drought, barring something happening. Oh, hey, look, it's done. Excellent. We have 83 water in stock at there already. Wow. Nice. Nice. All right, we got another day before the drought. I want to see how long the drought is, and then I think we'll pause up, assuming it's not any longer than... Well, even if it is longer, we'll probably still pause up and see how things just kind of pan out. Construction lacks materials. What construction? Oh, the dynamite. That counts as construction, right? Yeah, I just kind of want to clear this whole thing out, because that'll give us a nice, big, flat area to work in. Maybe I actually keep this as part of this district, and then set it back like this as the separate district. Maybe that's what I do. Just keep this as part of this so that I don't have to futz with it too much. Maybe that's what I do. And then I make this like fur growing and trees and stuff and export it into this district. Keep this as the water source for this district. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I even theoretically have enough room to do a little bit of additional. Oh, yep, there we go. 
There's our water. Okay, yeah, it was only day seven days again. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording, and we're going to get through this drought. All right, we are not quite through the drought yet. However, with a day and a half left, our upper layer just ran out of water. So I have paused our uh, water pumps uh, in order to not finish draining out our lower level. Uh, there's a little bit around the edges here that is dying off and probably will end up dying off because I don't think there's going to be enough time between the water coming down, or basically the drought ending and the water making it down here for it to, you know, save it. But it's very little. So all in all, we're still in a pretty good position. I think it's just going to be a case of deepening the remaining area in order to, you know, fix it. Plus probably a little bit of, like, you know, trim some of the st areas we're not using down in order to, you know, hold extra water. So we're going to wait for the drought to end, and I will be back then. All right, the drought is over, and we're probably going to lose these carrots. You know, the couple a bit up here. Yeah, it looks like we've lost the ones down here as well. That's fine. It's only a few. The vast majority of our fields were fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn these water pumps back on so that we can get water coming in again. We had plenty restored now that we had this giant water tank. But this water tank is going to be part of the new district when we make it. So we're probably going to want to replace these little guys with a big one at some point. But hey, here's our water. Water is restored. Power is restored to things. We're good to go again. So, um, there was actually a couple of times here where apparently the wind was high enough that these two windmills were in fact producing enough power for things to run at 100%. So, I don't know how the wind mechanics work in this game. But, apparently, sometimes it's enough. So, I guess that's a thing. And yeah, I'm thinking that our new district will probably end up being primarily agricultural in nature. Which means we'll be making plenty of logs, we'll be making plenty of food. But, we're not going to have so much in the line of finished goods unless I drop in some windmills. Because I'm only going to have a little bit of water area where the water is flowing enough to make those go so i th think i'm probably going to have to import some of the finished goods in order to make the district work but i also might be able to get some of the basic things like the lumber mill the lumber mill and the gear workshop i think are the things that i might want to replicate in a new district and let's see, these are asking for, you want 120, you want 50. So a single large windmill theoretically produces enough for that. Maybe I'll give them one each and just direct power them. That might work. Or maybe I'll hook them both in and split the power out. That way, if there's not quite enough being produced by one, because since they are so different, because that's 50... That's 120. So if these are producing, like, say, 100 a piece, then that would be enough to run them both. But it wouldn't be enough to run the gear workshop if it's just one. So yeah, that might be advantageous to do that. I'm thinking of replicating those somewhere over here in the new district, uh, just off of wind power, because those are used to build buildings. Um, the paper, not so much other than the windmills itself. Uh, right now, the paper is primarily going into explosives, although apparently there's also books, which I still don't know what the books are useful for, but I guess we'll figure it out at some point. Um, I would like to get this done so that I can start expanding this area again. Um, how far, in point of fact, can I take this? So it looks like, here, let me move that, 
Right about there. Yeah, that's too far. So let's do that. And all that. We'll get that set up. So that once this is done, that they'll start in on this. And that won't be anywhere near as complicated as this area, because there's nothing in the water there, so that's that's good. Um, It'll help keep these two that drew, dried out before from drying out again. I might want to do a little bit of explosives right there, I think. That's actually, you know what, not a bad idea. Let's do that. Let's get these three spots. So we're going to go one, two, three. And we'll end up doing them lower as well. We're going to put you guys as high priority. This might solve the one little issue we had. Now, I don't know if there's a top end to how long the droughts can possibly last. That's one thing I'm not sure of. If we dig these out and then dig out the three below them. That might be and get the stuff close enough to not dry out. I'm not certain, though. But it definitely can't hurt. the very least, it's going to be a little bit more um, water in the area. So, bare minimum, it's that. All right, come on, guys. Get that stuff going. All the water. Yeah, I think so. I think one of these will fit in this area just fine. I would need to get rid of these guys first, however, which is probably a little bit of an issue. Oh, here we go. Detonate. There's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Bam. All right. Now, we do this again, like that. And once again, we go, these three are the top priority. That way they will do them out of order. Do, do, do. We'll just get a little bit more green a little bit further in. That's the idea, at least. They're still working on that plenty. That'll just kind of go in the background for a little bit, I think. I think it'll be good for the background, at least. Two more bits of that. How are we doing here? 79% on that one. Come on, move around a little for me. There we go. I might need to... How big is this? Let's, let's see a moment. Water. Large. Oh, I could... Put one there. Or even... Oh, I could put it like that. I like that a little bit better. Do I have enough gears? I don't have enough gears yet. We're going to let that sit for a moment. But I think what I want to do is that, and then shut down these, and maybe put a second one of them in. Or maybe something else, even. I don't know. I do like having the little one out here, though, because it helps... The beavers get hydrated a little bit better. But I'm thinking I might want to put the, a large one here. Let's wait till we have more gears, though. How are we doing on that? Oh, you know what? We're not going to be able to wait till we have more gears, because the gears aren't getting made. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll put in the little path that is required. There we go. All right. And then we'll shut these guys down once that's built. How's this? Oh, hey, here we go. Are these done? Kaboom. Excellent. Little tiny bits more water. All to the good. Whoa, little bit of autosave. We can let that go. This, this does not seem as high priority to me at the moment. Actually, can I? Is there a way to be like... Oh, no, I don't seem to be able to select multiple things. I'd have to go through each one to adjust the priority, and I really don't feel like doing that. So we'll let this finish up. They'll get to that as they get to it. 
this might be a mistake. This might be the fatal mistake right here. But, both of these things I feel need to be done. And keeping explosives on the go is kind of important. And as soon as all of this is done, we'll be able to throw in some canals. We'll get some more stuff done. Yeah, I think I, I would like to get the canals done before I get the district going. That's my personal view on that. Just my thought. Just my thought. They're getting this stuff going. Because I'd like to be able to put like the canal in around here and have room on both sides. That's about what I'm thinking. Like right around there. Point of fact. gonna do that just kind of as a marker for where it is now with the way this is set up they should put those three in absolute last unless I you know set them up to in fact let's even set them up as the lowest priority just to be on the safe side I just kind of want to have that as a marker so what my plan is here is right in the center one and the reason I put it out at three is I'll put another one of these dams right there so that we will have water flow in but not necessarily flow back out like this one does. You know, I could probably expand this a little bit too. At the very least, I could make it deeper. More things to give thought to. We're just not making explosives fast enough or keeping enough stored in order to, be do, to do this in a timely fashion. Unfortunately, almost all of my storage is going into foodstuffs because I have a ridiculous food production at the moment. That's okay. We will be able to tweak these things once we get the second district going. But there's so much to do before I get the second district going. It's the problem. Oh well. It's a thing. It exists. It'll be fine. They seem to be doing that whole area first. That's fine. It's really too bad that these things won't continue running at night with the just the, having the power. But, I guess that's the way it goes. We are running desperately low on logs, though. Which is going to slow things down. Oh, man. The sooner I get this area done with, like, more logging stuff, the better. I'm, I'm, I'm being choke-pointed behind the things that I want to already make more of. <sighs> but I'm waiting to get to the point where I can make more of them. Alright, it's weird. Alright, you. Alright, let's start... Ah. There we go. We can just set all this. We want these emptied. And then we can get rid of them once those are all empty. And maybe we put another one of these in. That way we'll have two nice big storages for the our main area. One for our, what is going to be our secondary area, but we might get a, another on top of that. Maybe. Oh, alright. Three days until a drought. But, that is going to wait for next episode, because we are out of time. Um, we, we deepened our reservoir. <clears throat> we've had our earth-shattering kaboom. Um, we've been through a drought with it. We've seen where we need to shore things up a little bit. We're going to work on that. I'm hoping to get to the, district, to the new district next episode, but I don't know if we're going to make it or not. It's going to entirely depend on how quickly we get more dynamite produced really is going to depend. But that is going to do it for this episode. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>